Starting with the Genero Application Server 2.10, there is not a separate installation bundle for the Genero web client. When you install the Genero Application Server, you are installing the library files necessary for the Genero web client to deliver the application. The installation package will provide you a wizard to guide you through the installation process. For this example, we are going to install the Genero Application Server for the Windows platform. Notice that we go and we retrieve the package, the installation package, from the support page on the 4J's website. After launching the executable, a welcome page displays. Click Next to continue. After reading the license agreement, check the I accept checkbox and click Next to continue. Regarding the installation scope, we are going to install the application for all users and select the appropriate radio button. For the installation name, we can leave that blank to accept the default name of GAS. Click Next. In the Network Configuration window, we verify the information displayed and click Next to continue. On the Choose Components page, you identify whether you are installing the application server, the web server component, or both. Typically, you will have the application server and the web server sitting on separate machines. So when doing the installation, you are either installing the application server component or you are installing the web server component. If you have both the application server and the web server sitting on the same machine, you could be installing the full package, but this would be rare and likely only in a development environment. On Unix or Linux systems, installing the application server component is known as a Type 1 installation, installing the web server component is known as a Type 2 installation, and installing both components is known as a Type 3 installation. For this example, we select the application server component and click Next to continue. You are asked to choose the installation location. You can accept the default or browse to find an alternate installation directory. Once you have selected the installation directory, Click Next to continue. In the next panel, you are asked to select the Genero BDL directory you wish to specify. If you do not have Genero BDL installed, you can leave this field empty. Click Next to continue. You are asked to validate the defaults set for the DVM and FGL DIR environment variables. Add it if necessary and click Next. On Windows, you have the option of installing the Genero application server as a service. If you do not install it as a service, then you will need to start the Genero application server from the command line. For this example, we will accept the default and not install as a service. Click Next. You accept or modify the start folder name, start menu folder name, and click Install. After the files are copied to the requisite directory, the installation wizard will finish. You can elect to view the README information and click Finish to complete the installation. The installation is finished, but how do you know that it installed successfully? The first test is to start the Genero application server. From the Start menu, Navigate into the GAS folder and start the Genero Application Server Workplace window. At the prompt, enter GAS D. The Genero Application Server should start successfully. You will see the status of each step identified as done. If there is a problem, the step will instead display a fail message. Having started the Genero application server, the next test is to bring up a demonstration application. In a browser, enter http colon backslash backslash localhost colon 6394 slash demos dot html. Where localhost is our host machine, you can use an IP address or other machine name instead, and 6394 is the default port number after the installation. This should bring up a demos page where you can view a demonstration application and see how they appear and react from within the browser environment. 